So we were here and now we are here. But what if we are here and we want to be here? Whether you bought a stock or you bought a call option, with interactive brokers to capitalize on the price trend, volatility, and gains along the way until you reach your target price. So if you have your interactive broker mobile app with you today, we're going to walk through how to buy a call option and then close the position and how to roll a call option. So here you'll see the interactive brokers app. Now we're in the portfolio tab. So I'm going to search for a stock and the stock that we're going to use in this tutorial video is Nvidia. So when you search for Nvidia, you drop down these few options. You can go to search on their stock options, CFD, option chain and strategy builder and option wizard. So since we want to go into options, we're going to go to option chain and strategy builder. Then you'll be brought to the option chain. So currently Nvidia is trading at about $940. We're going to buy a call contract. So looking at the call column, that's the strike price. Then any price that is above $940, like $945 or $950 or $960, the call contract is out of the money. Then any strike price that is below $940, in this case for Nvidia, let's say the strike price is $930 or $920, the strike price is in the money. So for interactive brokers, for any call option that is in the money, it is in the light shaded blue area. Then for any call option that is out of the money, it is in the white color area. So now I'm going to show you how to buy a call option or in other words, it is a long call option. So here we're going to scroll down all the way to a $1,000 strike price and bear in mind this is a zero DTE, zero day to expiry and a $1,000 strike price that's the bid and ask price and also the last price. So the bid price for $1,000 contract is $0.04, cents, ask price is $0.05 cents, and last price is $0.04. Cents. So that means Currently, there are people bidding to buy this contract at $0.04. Cents. There are also people asking to sell this contract to us at $0.05. Cents. But then the last price that was transacted was at $0.04. Cents. And for options trading, what you need to bear in mind is that one options contract is equivalent to 100 shares. So that means this one contract here, let's say it's selling to us or we are buying at $0.05, cents, it will cost us $5. Because $0.05 cents times 100 is $5. And when you want to buy a call contract in the Interactive Brokers mobile app, tap the Ask column where you will be shaded in dark blue. If you tap the Bid column, that means you want to sell a call contract, you will be in red color. In this video here, we want to focus on buying a call option. So here, after tapping the $1,000 strike price, we see here below, we are buying one March 22, 2024 $1,000 call and the break even is $1,000.05 because our strike price is $1,000 and the cost for our call contract is $0.05 cents, so the break even is $1,000.05 and then we see here the blue button order of $0.05 cents. so that means $0.05 cents, or after all the calculation for one contract is $5 $5 will be deducted from our account so here's the detailed information about buying a $1,000 strike price call contract so on the top here, we see what the volume for the ask price at $0.05 cents and also the bid volume at $0.04. Cents. That means how many people are asking to sell to us this contract at $0.05 cents, and also how many people are bidding to buy this contract, $1,000 contract strike price at $0.04. Cents. Then we see some more performance profile information. So this contract will cost maximum of $5. Then that's the break even as I mentioned earlier. And then for the max return, the profit, it is infinity according to the analysis and calculation by interactive brokers. Then we scroll down to the bottom below. Here we can set the quantity, that means how many call contracts that we want to buy. In this case, here I'm going to buy one call contract. You can buy more than one call contract. You can buy one, two, three, four, five, or even 100 contracts. You can't buy the contract in fraction. You can't do fraction share trading in options trading. Then you can set the order type. That means you want to set the order to be limit order or market order and then the limit price because the order type now is in limit order type so the limit price now is at five cents i can change it accordingly to buy this contract at the ask price of six cents or to bid at five cents that means to wait for the price to drop to five cents and then that's when my order will be executed and then that's when my contract will be bought and then you can also attach additional orders like stop loss and profit taker so that means let's say you want to minimize your losses you can set a stop loss and let's say the current price is at six cents but you set your stop loss at five cents 
So if the contract price drops to $0.05, cents, that's when interactive brokers, given the order that you set in your stop loss, the contract will be sold automatically at $0.05 cents in this example. Then for profit taker, if you want to cap your profit, so for example here it's at $1.06, if the price reaches $1.06, that's when interactive brokers, based on the price that you set, they will execute the trade and sell the options contract for you. So you don't always have to be on your screen, whether on the desktop or looking at your mobile phone here, wondering when to sell, to stop loss or to take profit. You can set all this ahead of time in Interactive Brokers Mobile so that this gives you peace of mind. And you can do this at your own convenience and time as well. Then you can preview your order information. So if you click the preview button below, you can see the amount, that means how much this contract will cost, and then also the commission or the fees. So the total for this contract will be $7.05. And then how this contract or this purchase will affect your equities without loan and initial margin and maintenance margin. This initial and maintenance margin is because I'm currently on a margin account. If you're on a cash account, you won't see this information in your preview here. So that's for buying a call option. So now that you have bought your call option, there are three things that you can do with your call option that you bought. Number one, you can let it wait until expiry. Number two, you can close the position before expiry. Or number three, you can roll the position before expiry. So now we're going to go back to the interactive brokers app, the mobile app. So we're going to look here, NVIDIA call option that's set to expire on April 12, 2024. And this call option is $975. And the cost basis for this call option is $93. So today is April 8th, and if I choose to let it expire on the 12th of April, then there are two things that can happen. Number one, if the price of NVIDIA goes up above $975, that's when the call option is in the money. And by contract terms, I have to buy 100 NVIDIA shares at $975. So that's a lot of money. But if NVIDIA's price on 12th of April is below $975, the call option is worthless and set to expire worthless. So that's the risk and opportunity cost when it comes to letting your call option expire until expiry. But then there are two things that you also can do before expiry. I can close the position to minimize my losses or to capture any gains and profits made before expiry. And then I don't have to buy 100 shares of NVIDIA at $975. Or I can roll the position to a lower price below $975 on 12th of April or I can roll it to a future date at a higher strike price or lower strike price. But then the cost for rolling the position will increase and cost more. So I'm going to show you how. So here I'm going to tap my call option. And then here we see that close position, exercise or lapse and roll position. So now I'm going to show you first how to close the position for this call option. So you'll be brought to your order page, which is sell order, and then key in the quantity that you want to sell. So since I own one quantity or one position of this call option, I'm going to key in one and then the order type. I'm going to set the limit. You can set it to market order or other type of order. And then the limit price here, set the limit price that you want to sell your call position. And then you can set your time in force, whether to sell the position during the trading day or until a certain date with good deal cancelled. And then once you are satisfied with your order here, slide the slide to sell slider. So now I'm going to show you how to roll the position. So for interactive brokers, when it comes to rolling the position, you can only do it on the mobile app or the iPad app. You can't do it on your desktop. So here we're going to tap roll position and then we'll be brought to the options chain. So I'm going to move back to the original expiry date of 12th April. And then to show you how to roll your position, I'm going to choose the strike price of $882.50. So here the bid price is $17.05 and then the ask price for this call option to roll to is $17.60. So you can choose any other date and any other price to roll your position. But here in this video, I'm going to choose this strike price and this date again. So anyway, tap roll position. Then you'll be brought to your order page. So here put in the quantity that you want to roll, the order type, and then the limit price. And then slide, slide to buy slider. But in this video, I'm not going to close my position and even roll my position. So that's it on this tutorial video on call options how to buy the call option, how to then sell the call option, and then how to roll the call option. I hope you found today's video helpful. For more videos like this in interactive brokers and in investing and in finance, real estate, home and living products, hit the like button below and subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more. And with that, 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.